So here we go. We've probably all been in this situation before. There's always a little trouble as to find which is your seatbelt. <laughs> various seatbelts. Then I normally have to go all the way. I don't know about you, but I would take this <laughs> with absolute maximum. And then give me a little bit of room. That pops in there, nice and relaxed. And then rude people. As soon as the sign's off, there's a boom. They will immediately recline. Ru you know who you are. <laughs> As soon as it's off, they'll just go, right, that's me. <laughs> and the, just so you know, the person sitting behind you is staring at the back of your head, complaining to the whole room, look at this guy, look at this rude recliner. Because the more polite of us, and you also know who you are, and I count myself among them, well, you will do it in increments. Just every sort of ten minutes, I will slowly... Just move a little bit. And, And there you are, after 40 to 50 minutes, and they're behind you going, how the hell did he do that? Yes, that's the idea. Slow, incremental reclining. Then you've got your blanket. If it gets chilly, shoes tend to go off. Always a little bit embarrassing. So they always say, leave your seatbelt on. Don't they? they say, leave it on in case of turbulence. So you have to leave your seatbelt on. Then the blanket goes there. Then you, then you try and sleep. But then sometimes the stewardess, there's turbulence. The stewardess comes around. She, said, she goes, excuse me, sir, is your seatbelt on? And it's a very awkward moment when you have to lift <laughs> and direct her. Yes. <laughs> Very awkward moment, I'm sure we've all been through. So you've got all the things here, the armrests move, the tray comes down, we've even got food here, which we can go through, which is absolutely revolting. We've got the hardest, the hardest <laughs> bread you ever get in the world. And then, of course, they come down and they go, would you like the chicken or the fish? Chicken or the fish, sir? We've got chicken or fish? Then they go, oh, I think I'll have the chicken. They go, we're out of chicken. <laughs> All right, that's where from the chicken. So, as you all know, to, for takeoff, they always tell you to put the blind up. They go, make sure. Sometimes you're about to take off, everything's fine, and they go, excuse me, sir, could you just pop your blind up? We need all the blinds up for takeoff. Really, this blind is linked to the engine of the plane, is it? <laughs> is the captain up there going, something seems to be wrong? Have you checked all the, all the blinds? Have you checked all the blinds? 32B, check with 32B. Oh, well, that's better! Close one. <laughs> All right, so this is where it would come. <laughs> All right. that's, a, that's another thing that happens, is when, the, when it ends, when the plane... Because it's a race, isn't it, to get off the plane? It's a race. You pretend you're not racing, don't you? You look around. As soon as you get there, you're looking around. They always say, welcome to such and such. You've arrived. Please wait for the seatbelt sign to go off. But everybody is waiting. <laughs> they might as well say, honey marks. Get sent. Go. 